Hey guys, welcome to the instructions for the rear limit straps on a Can-Am X3 RS. These limit straps are going to accomplish a few things for you. One, they'll stop extension clunk. Two, they'll prolong the life of your CVs, axles, and shock absorber. Three, they're going to match the front limit straps on an X3 that are absolutely necessary. Our limit strap kit is the best on the market for multiple reasons. One, it can mount to different makes and models of car. Two, it has the same geometry as the shock, which limits the stress on the strap, as opposed to mounting it somewhere else on the car that increases the leverage. Three, it has a patented tether system that keeps the strap tight up against the coil spring, keeping it from bowing out and getting into the tire. This installation is very easy and should take less than an hour. More than likely, you've got all these parts waiting on the bench to be installed, so let's not waste any more time and send it off to Mitch and he'll show us how to put it on. As always, we recommend that you lay out all of the parts included in the kit in advance. This will help you with the installation. First, remove the plastic air cleaner cover. Next, jack the back of the car up until the tires are off the ground. Next, remove the stock lower shock bolt. Now, install the supplied longer lower shock bolt from the inside going towards the outside of the lower control arm. Go ahead and repeat this step on both sides. Next, prepare the billet aluminum clamp to be installed onto the shock. Install the adjustable limit strap clevis onto the billet clamp. The adjustable clevis should be set in such a way that it lines up with the separation in the billet clamp. You want to have the limit strap installed so that it lines up with the shock perfectly. The reason that we do this in advance is that it's hard to access once it's bolted to the car. You can now set the car back onto the ground. Install the billet aluminum clamp to the top of the shock. Clocking of the clamp does not matter at this point. Put it in such a way that you can access the hardware as easy as possible. Eventually, you want the clamp positioned all the way to the top of the shock butted against the head of the shock. You also want the clevis and ultimately the limit strap facing the outside of the vehicle. All clamp hardware should be torqued to 20 foot-pounds. With the clamp torqued to the head of the shock, you can now install the limit strap. The adjustable clevis bolt should have some Loctite on it when you install the system. The limit strap has two different size holes in the strap. Use the larger diameter hole in the limit strap to be installed into the adjustable clevis on top. Don't forget to tighten the loctite clevis bolt. Next, slide the stainless steel spacers onto the longer lower shock hardware. Once the spacer is slid onto the bolt, install the lower end of the limit strap as well as installing the factory nut loosely. Repeat all of these steps on the other side. If I can rotate, get her snug. With both straps installed on the lower bolts, but the nuts left loose, jack the car up to where the tires are off the ground. With the car off the ground and tension on the straps, this will keep the lower mount straight. It's important when you tighten the lower bolt that the strap is perfectly straight. This will increase the lifespan of the strap. The lower hardware is 12 millimeter and should be torqued to 95 foot-pounds. You can now let the car back down onto the ground. Move the car back and forth to settle the suspension once it's off the jack. With 
with the suspension settled, you can now attach the limit strap tethers. Wrap the tether around the coil spring that's closest to it. You want to have the tether attached in such a way that you have about one inch of slack in the system. With the tethers attached, don't forget to install the air cleaner cover. And just like that, your installation is complete. Mitch, thank you so much for showing us how to install that kit. And yes, it was as easy as Mitch makes it look. Hopefully it goes that fast for you. A couple things that we want you to remember with this limit strap kit. The straps are going to stretch a lot, as much as an inch in the first 200 miles. So put some time on the car, measure the system, double check your lengths, and make sure that the straps are holding the shock short of full extension by a quarter of an inch. Another thing to consider is as you're driving your car for hundreds of miles and you start to hear a clunk that wasn't there when you started, that's a sure sign that the straps have stretched a little bit, it's starting to hang on the shock. So adjust the straps up another quarter of an inch and that clunk will go away. As we've mentioned in the past, limit straps are a wearing item just like brake pads. We sell all of the components in this kit separately, so if you need any parts, go to our website, shocktherapist.com, or contact us at 623-217-4959 to get all the components you need.